in previous lecture i already discussed all these logical equivalence these are important just remember this there i discussed de morgan law that negation p and q will be negation p or negation q so this negation symbol will go inside and this and symbol will change to or then second de morgan law is negation p or q is logically equivalent to negation p and negation q now we can extend this de morgan law here there are just two propositional variable if multiple propositional variable are given then also we can apply de morgan law like negation of p1 or p2 up to pn so that we can write as negation p1 and negation p2 and up to negation pn so this negation symbol will go inside and or symbol will change to and here also second de morgan law negation p1 and p2 and up to pn that is equivalent to negation p1 or negation p2 or up to negation pn that we can summarize as negation of or j1 to n pj that is equivalent to and j1 to n negation of pj so i'll add negation symbol with each propositional variable and or will change to and now second law negation of and j1 to n pj is equivalent to or j value 1 to n negation of pj so this negation symbol we attach with each propositional variable and and symbol change to or now we we'll construct some new logical equivalence we don't need to make the truth table by just using the existing logical equivalence we can prove that two compound propositions are equivalent example 6 so that negation of p implies q and p and negation q are logical equivalent you can create truth table if truth value are same you can say these two are logical equivalent now i will try to match without creating the truth table so negation of p implies q we know that p implies q that we can write as negation p or q so in place of this p implies q we can write negation p or q before one negation is given now i'll apply the de morgan law so negation of p or q is equivalent to negation p and negation q so negation of negation p as one negation is already there so negation of negation p and negation q now double negation law so negation of negation p will be p and negation q it's equivalent to this so you can say negation of p implies q is logical equivalent to p and negation q we just used de morgan law and double negation law so by just three step we prove that negation of p implies q is logical equivalent to p and negation q if we will create truth table then for two variable we need to create four rows so truth table creating is more time consuming than this but you should know the basic logical equivalence that i discussed in previous lecture let's see another example example 7 so that negation p or the negation p and q and negation p and negation q are logical equivalent we'll start from this left compound proposition so negation of p or negation p and q we can consider this whole as x now negation of p or x so that will be negation p and negation x so negation of p and negation of x x is negation p and q we apply de morgan law now again we will apply de morgan law here so it will be negation of negation p or negation q now negation of negation p will be p so negation p and negation of negation p is p or negation q now we'll apply the distributive law we know distributive law as p and q 
R that we can write as P and Q or P and R. So here we can write negation P and P or negation P and negation Q. Now negation P and P that will be false by negation law. So negation P or P is true. Negation P and P is false. Suppose P is true, true and false, it will be false. False and true, it will be false. But in case of or, it is always true. Now false or P, that will be P. So false or anything that will be same. It's according to identities laws. So it will be negation P and negation Q. True and P will be P and false or P will be P. So we prove that negation of P or negation P and Q is equivalent to negation P and negation Q. Both are logically equivalent without the truth table. We just use De Morgan law, double negation law, second distributive law, negation law and identity law. So that's why in previous lecture I told that this logical equivalence are important. We'll use this logical equivalence to prove two compound propositions are equivalent. Let's see another example. Here we'll prove that this compound proposition is a tautology. For proving tautology, we can create the truth table. If all values are true, we can say this is a tautology. So without creating truth table also, we can prove that this is a tautology. Now P and Q implies P or Q. So this implication we can write negation of P and Q or P or Q. We know P implies Q equivalent to negation P or Q. So this is let P, this is Q. So negation of P and Q or P or Q. Now here we'll apply the De Morgan law. So by applying De Morgan law, we'll get negation of P or negation of Q. Then or P or Q. Next we can apply the associative law. So negation of P or P or negation of Q or Q. I already discussed in previous lecture that negation of P or P that will be true and negation of P and P will be false. It's according to negation law. So here negation of P or P that will be true. Again negation Q or Q that will be true. So true or true it's true. In case of or false or false is false rest it is true. So here we found two true. True or true it's true. In today's lecture, I discussed extension of De Morgan law. Then how we can prove two compound propositions are logical equivalents without truth table. In next lecture, I will discuss propositional satisfiability. If today's lecture is helpful for you, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.